70% of people feel that certain events already happened to them. This is such a strong mental state that all doubts vanish. You really were here under the same circumstances. Deja vu, translated from French, means already seen. Maybe you were in a similar situation in another life and the memory of the past catches up with you. But in this case, it feels strange because then all these computers, smartphones and gyro scooters were present in your past life, weren't they? Then perhaps it is not about the past, but rather a parallel world. And if I feel a sense of deja vu, then another me from the parallel universe has already been here and did it. So I'm on the right track. After all, could we both be wrong? Eh, how many hypotheses do people come up with to explain their mental state? And since the sense itself appears randomly and lasts for a few seconds, it's hard to create it artificially and it is much easier to come up with thousands of mystical explanations. Yet, there are several scientific explanations for why we experience the feeling that something happened before. Every year, there are more and more theories. At first, scientists tried to think logically. After all, most likely we really have already seen it, we just could not remember. Maybe we dreamed of something like this, or we just once saw it and did not attach any importance to it. Well, for example, we were in a family house and saw a photo of an unfamiliar ancestor, John Smith, and we forgot about it. Our brains filter out a huge amount of external information, otherwise we would be overloaded. So this information did not make it into our conscious mind, it fell into the depths of the subconscious. And when our relatives were talking about John Smith, we could get the impression that we knew about or even saw him, although he lived long before our birth. In this case, many try to interpret it as the mystical connection through the generations. But relatively recently, scientists have taken a step towards understanding this phenomenon. Despite the complexity of the artificial reproduction of the sense of deja vu, a group of neuroscientists led by Akira O'Connor invented a method capable of causing deja vu in the laboratory. Here's how they did it. Study participants were told words on the subject of sleep. For example, a bed, a pillow, a night, but the word sleep was not mentioned. People were just kind of hinted to it. And of course, the human brain will fill in the blanks via associations, so it would seem as if the word was said. Then, they were distracted by another topic in order to reduce their focus on the original words. And so, after being distracted, they were asked the first question. Did the participants of the experiment hear the words starting with the letter S? And the rational part of their brain was telling them that, of course, there was no such word. And then they were asked the second question. Did you hear the word sleep? And now the people felt conflicted. A couple of seconds ago, they replied that there were no such words starting with the letter S. But for some reason, they had a strong feeling that the word sleep sounds very familiar. At this point, brain activity was recorded on functional magnetic resonance imaging and it was evident that when people experienced deja vu, the frontal areas of the brain responsible for making decisions were activated. As a result, neuroscientists came to the conclusion that the brain carries out a reconciliation of actual events with those that we believe have occurred. By analogy, to the participants of the experiment, it seemed that the word sleep was pronounced, but in reality, they did not hear it. Their brain made it up. And if a similar error occurs, then the brain sends us a signal, which we all know as a deja vu phenomenon. So, don't worry, when you feel deja vu, no one from your past lives call you, and even the parallel universes keep silent. In fact, your brain finds errors in the memories and points you to them. It is a mechanism the brain uses to perform a checkup on itself, and this is evidence of a good memory. By the way, this is why the frequency of deja vu decreases with age. Did you like this episode? Smash that like and subscribe to the channel. That's it for today, and I'm Boney Wright.